When two New Jersey Rotary Clubs teamed up for a four-day festival, they asked one basic question. What kind of event can we do to build better and stronger communities for Madison and Florham Park? That was the macro goal. Madison Rotary Chairman Ellsworth Havens thought that this festival should have a twist. We wanted something that grandparents could be here, children could be here, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, all family members with all the different major aspects of life. So the Rotary Clubs asked the Madison Arts and Culture Alliance, known as MACA, to bring arts into the festival mix. Practicing a play. MACA president Deb Starker. This was a great way to tap into the energy that we have here in town. Are you some mascot from some rival team? We've had Shakespeare Theater of New Jersey. It's a practice game, so we're playing against ourselves. Ooh, a civil war! We've had the Baroque Orchestra and other local performers from Chatham and Florham Park. That combination of arts and recreation is a big plus for parent and teacher Michelle Hughes. We were on the rides and playing games, and then we sat down and we saw an orchestra. We figured we had to come watch. <laughs> I think with arts in everyday life, it expands children's minds. They get to see something live, and they get to see real musicians performing. The violin is so pretty. I can hardly hear any other instrument. For conductor Robert Butts, bringing Mozart to the outdoor fair is natural. As life dances and sings, so the music dances and sings. I think Mozart would be ecstatic. Both the Rotary Clubs and MACA believe that a family festival with arts has wider benefits. I really think the arts are what's going to bring us all together. You take two communities that actively believe in the arts, believe in sports and believe in family. We have volunteers as young as eight and nine, as old as 95. Building community through the Madison Florham Park Rotary Family Festival. For New Jersey Arts News, this is Susan Haig.